Hello everyone, this is Hossein from EJ Academy. In this video, we wanted to continue talking about quadratic expressions. In the previous video, we talked about the standard form of uh, the quadratic expression which you can see it on the left side of the screen in the standard form a b and c are the constant of the expression and x is the variable in this video we wanted to talk about another form of the quadratic expression which is called the vertex form and you see the vertex form on the right side of the table and the reason that we're interested in the vertex form of the quadratic expression is because the coordinates of the vertex of the parabola is readily available from the vertex form whereas in the standard form you need to spend uh, some time do some calculation to uh, obtain the coordinates of the vertex in the vertex form uh, x still is the variable of the expression and the constants are a h and k a is the same as the a in the standard form but h and k are a new constant in the vertex form however there is a relationship between h and k in the vertex form and a b and c in the standard form and in this uh, video we wanted to find uh, that relationship so let's get started so the goal here is to start from the standard form and do some rearrangement and get to the vertex form where in the vertex form h and k are the coordinates of the vertex of the parabola so let me rewrite the standard form again here y is equal to a x squared plus b x plus c now i'm going to multiply the second term by this fraction a over a and it's not going to change anything because a over a is one so let me rewrite the equation I have a x squared plus b x times a over a plus c. Now I'm going to rearrange this expression. I have a x squared plus a x b over a plus c. What I have done here is I have switched the position of this b and a multiplier. Now, uh, because the first and second terms, they have uh, a common multiplier A, I'm going to take out this common multiplier and rewrite the equation. So I have A times X squared plus B over A times X. Close parenthesis plus C. Now I want to make the expression inside the parenthesis a perfect square and to do so there is a term missing because if I revisit this perfect square here x plus d squared and if I use this distributive property to expand it x plus d times x plus d I would get x squared plus 2dx plus d squared. And if I write down my expression that I have inside the parentheses underneath it, I would have x squared plus b over ax plus the missing term. If I compare my expression with the expression written above, I would notice that the missing term here is uh, basically half of the x multiplier b over 2a to the second. And if I can add this missing term to the expression inside the parentheses, I can get a perfect square like this, x plus b over 2a to the second. But I cannot just add the missing term to the expression inside the parentheses because it's going to change the expression. What I need to do is to add and subtract uh, the missing expression and that way the expression won't change. So let's go ahead and do that. So I have a times open parenthesis x squared plus b over a x plus b over 2a, the whole fraction to the second, and minus b over 2a 
to the second. Close parenthesis plus C. Because I added and subtracted the same term to the expression, they cancel each other out and the result is the same as we have in the line above. Let's go ahead and simplify this expression. I have a times x squared plus b divided by a times x plus b over 2a to the second. What I'm going to do here is to take this b over 2a squared out of this parenthesis. So I need to multiply this a by this fraction here. Let's go ahead and implement this multiplication. Let's close the parenthesis. Then I have minus a times b divided by 2a squared plus c. The good news is that I have my perfect square uh, here inside the parentheses. So let's go ahead and simplify this expression. I have a times x plus b over 2a to the second minus a times b squared divided by 4a squared plus c. In the second term, this a multiplier cancels out with this a squared in the denominator and I have a in the denominator. So let's rewrite this expression. I have a times x plus b divided by 2a squared minus b squared divided by 4a plus c. To be able to compare this with the vertex form that I have introduced above, let me rewrite that vertex form here. y is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k. So if we compare these two expressions, this minus h here is b over 2a. So h is equal to minus b over 2a and this minus b squared over 4a plus c is my k so k is equal to c minus b squared over 4a and this is the relationship between h and k which are the coordinates of the vertex of the parabola and a b and c which are the constant of the standard form of the quadratic expression now let's take a look at a couple of examples to see how we can get the coordinates of the vertex of the parabola from the standard form. Our first example is y is equal to negative x squared plus 4. I'm going to write down the general form next to it for comparison. y is equal to a x squared plus bx plus c. By comparison we get a is equal to negative 1, b is equal to 0, and c is equal to 4. If we use the relationships that we obtained above, uh, we get the coordinates of the vertex form as h is equal to negative b divided by 2a, which is equal to negative 0 divided by 2 times negative 1, which is equal to 0. And k is equal to c minus b squared divided by 4a, which is equal to 4 minus 0 squared divided by 4 times negative 1, which is 4 minus 0 equals 4. So the coordinate of the vertex is h and k which is equal to 0 and 4. Let's graph this quadratic expression in Desmos to see if we get the coordinate of the vertex correctly. So the expression is y is equal to negative x squared plus 4. So as you can see here this is the parabola and here is the vertex and the coordinate of the vertex is 0 and 4, the same coordinate that we obtained from this relationship. 
Our second example is y is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 8. If we compare our example with the general form, uh, we get a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 4, and c is equal to 8. If we use the expression that we have above for h and k, we have h is equal to negative b divided by 2a, which is equal to negative negative 4 divided by 2 times 1, which is equal to 4 divided by 2, which is equal to 2. And k is equal to c minus b squared divided by 4a. This is equal to 8 minus negative 4 squared divided by 4 times 1. This is equal to 8 minus 16 divided by 4, which is equal to 4. So the coordinates of the vertex is h and k is equal to 2 and 4. Let's graph this expression. y is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 8. As you see here, the coordinates of the vertex of the second parabola is 2 and 4, the same as we obtained from our calculation. Let's just stop this video here. In the next video, we will talk about the effect of the constants A, B, and C in the shape of the parabola. So stay tuned for that video. If this video helped you in any way, please hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy our content and would like to see more.